Hi, Vicky. Hi. I'm going to be performing some meridian tracing on you today. It's essentially working with your acupressure points along the body to really activate and get the energy moving, um, get the body regulating better, okay? Okay. Anything that's particularly been bothering you in your body lately? Um, kind of the middle of my back, I guess, like the top middle between my shoulder blades. Some back pain, okay. Any issues with the, um, the lungs or the heart or um, any anxiety, things like that, that have come up for you in the last couple of weeks? Um, maybe some anxiety, maybe. yeah. Okay, so I'll try and focus on those things while I'm pressing your pressure points. The first thing I want to do is just draw the lines along your back. So I'm going to peel this down here, if that's okay. Is that all right there? Yes. Okay. So there's dozens of lines throughout the body, but we're going to focus on the ones that run along the arm, the back, and a little bit into the neck. And the first one I like to start with is the lungs. It runs all along the body on both sides. And your back is like a mirror image for meridian lines. So anything we do on one side, we'll do on the other. So you'll feel just a little bit of a pen tip here. You've got twelve points for the lungs down each arm. I'll connect them. This side. I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure to each of them. Just gentle pressure for now. So activating the initial points here. If you feel any shortness of breath while I activate these long points, please let me know. I can indicate an issue. Next up is the stomach, and that line runs just down the middle of the arm, parallel to the lung line. Again, 12 points. Moving on to the small intestine, which runs 
sort of parallel, but there's a little bump out. And this one only has 10. We just connect the line to make it easier to see where the energy is flowing. Next is the gallbladder in a few key places. There are points that walk up the back towards the neck here. There are three points. But there are also points on the lower back. Are you very ticklish on your lower back area? I'm um, not there, no. Okay, this is okay. And these aren't necessarily where these things are in our body, obviously. This is just where the energy is flowing. The points that link back to these things. Next up is the bladder lines and they run parallel to the spine and these are our most proficient as well. So they're quite close together. We'll connect these this way. And the bladder is linked not only to urination and the functions of the bladder, but also just in general, uh, our ability to process toxins. Um, so our ability to clear out the, the body and the energy of the body. So it's a very important set of points. And down the middle in purple, And these points correlate to our heart. Runs parallel down through the entire body like this. It is our center point, our anchor.
Okay, and lastly, we have the brain. It's a cluster of points right here. points fully mapped out on the body now. Now we can do some more intense work. Um, are you allergic to any sort of scent or fragrance if I use a massage oil on you? No, not allergic. Okay, perfect. I'm going to set aside my chair here. I will be applying just a little bit of massage oil so I can press on certain points. We'll see what, how each point is feeling and reacting to my touch here. Starting over here, the lungs, the lungs feel okay. Hold this point right here. Right here, holding this point, especially on this side here. point needs to be held. It's going to be a little intense, okay? So that's the intestines. down each side of the bladder. Right here. Back here. So I'm feeling some blockage in the lungs in this area. So you mentioned that that was bothering you actually, didn't you? That upper back area, it might be coming from the lungs. Okay. okay moving on to the brain. And the brain feels good. Just hold this one here. Okay, work my way down. I think we need to focus in this area. So you'll see the, the marks are going to start coming off. So let me just put 
my towel here. And how are you with pressure? right where these points needed to be activated. Feel a little bit of cool pressure now. running these along the lines. Last big hold right here. Breathe through it. Okay. I think I want to place some ear seeds on the lung points in the ears, so let's go ahead and get you cleaned off and I'll have you flip around. I'm just taking off enough so that it doesn't get on your clothes, but it'll come off um, with your next shower. And if the lines, the lines will remain enough, or if you want to do some pressure work on yourself or have a partner do it, you can do that as well. Have you get up and turn around now. All right, Vicky, so I'm gonna put some ear seeds in, so I'm just gonna gently turn you this way, okay? 
going to focus on just a couple of points here. are or just versions of me pressing in your ear that will just stick on and apply that little bit of pressure throughout the day and night. Usually keep them on, I don't know, about 24 hours. They'll fall off by themselves. Is that okay there? Yeah. The ears might get a little hot and red. That one just fell off. The ears might get a little hot and red, but that's normal. If it's really uncomfortable, you can obviously take them off. But I'm just going to place three on each side. Gently pressing a couple of the points on the face as well. So that long point is right in between the eyes here. my tool here. And lastly, just a cooling guasha comb here. Go ahead and lay here as long as you need. When you're ready to get up, um, just drink a nice big glass of room temperature water. Uh, a lot of the waste that's been sort of broken up and disrupted by me pressing on some of these points needs to make its way out, okay? Okay. Thank you so much.